Avon calling. So did you ever have the Avon lady calling at your door? I never did, but I do have fond memories of looking through the catalog and looking at the different products that were available. There were so many. Um, I actually didn't know they had salt and pepper shakers, but I have a really beautiful one for you today that I was actually surprised that it was Avon. I found this in my grandfather, grandmother's collection, and it is this elegant looking geese. Actually, I thought they were swans at first, they were so elegant, but here they are. Here are the beautiful pair of swan or geese. <laughs> and what is so cool about this particular set is the way that they intertwine around one another. So yeah, they're just so pretty. And then did you hear that little dink that it has? I think they're glass. I think that's why they're so smooth and shiny. They're just a very shiny set. And so um, from what I can tell, these are from the late 70s, early 80s, these particular ones. So a little bit later in the Avon history. Avon is, when I looked it up, was a $5.5 billion company, second in direct sales to Amway. But it was started by a guy named David H. McConnell in uh, 1886. He was actually a door-to-door -door salesman of books. And what he found is that they were mostly housewives that he was dealing with. And as kind of a free gift for some of the books that he bought, he developed this rose-scented perfume. And so from there, he realized his perfumes were actually selling better than anything. And he started uh, a perfume company and he called it the California Perfume Company because there's so many flowers in, in California. So, um, yeah, he, he also developed the business model of women selling to other women and empowering them to start their own business. So the Avon itself is rich in uh, feminist, or I don't want to say feminist history, but empowering women history to, to get, go out and do their own sales. Um, so yeah, really, I really like the line of products. I think they have some good quality products and very elegantly designed products. There's even Avon men cells. So because the cologne the, that was marketed for men, they had those as well. So the Avon, the name itself was actually trademarked in 1932 when he took on a business partner and they went for something a little bit shorter. And it's actually the name of the birthplace of McConnell's favorite playwright, Shakespeare. And Avon means the river uh, in Celtic language. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I never knew what the Avon name was for. So, um, but yes, this is, I think, a beautiful piece. And it has to be one of my favorites now next to the lady with a long dress, the, the pink lady with her parasol and a long dress. Um, so some of the perfume I, I really like. But yeah, this is a really beautiful piece. I will overlay some, some images that kind of show this, but it's very sleek, very minimal in its design, which um, is kind of interesting for the times. Um, what is your favorite Avon piece? Do you have a favorite Avon piece that, that you love or brings back memories from childhood? I'd love to know. Um, if you're interested in some of these pieces that I'm showing, please hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell to let you know when I have a new one. Okay, bye-bye for now.